Hey folks, this is Ryan from uh, iMobile Rescue, and I thought it was an important important video to make to show the uh, the iPad Mini being opened. Uh, this is the iPad Mini first generation uh, with uh, cellular functionality. These antennas up here are pretty tricky to get around, and you want to make sure that you don't tear them because they are very easy to tear. So for those of you doing a, a tear down on your own, doing a DIY repair, maybe some repair companies who are, are looking to touch this thing for the first time, um, and uh, and you don't want to tear the uh, the antennas, which are very easy to tear. Hopefully, this can give you some help. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, of course, on any teardown on an iOS device, particularly iPads, is uh, give it some heat. The, the, the challenge, I think, with these antennas on the top here is that uh, if you heat them too much, and if you heat it too much toward the antennas, then you could sort of warp and, and, and bend the antennas in a way that uh, cosmetically doesn't look good, and certainly your customer uh, or you are not going to be happy if you, if you care about the cosmetics there. So... Um, so I think it's important to, to first of all have a temperature controlled heat gun, which we have here. We can change the temperature back and forth here, and there's a little gauge on the back. And then uh, to set it to somewhere around 800 or so, 800 degrees Fahrenheit, so that it's not blasting with, with a lot of heat. That'll potentially melt some stuff. You don't want that. And then really to just be super careful around your application, uh, not to have it too much toward the top here, so you're, you know you don't want to bend and warp that, that antenna stuff in the back, and not to have it too much down here, because of course you don't want to blast the LCD with, uh, with excessive heat. So you kind of have to do it sort of right in the middle right around here you know and be careful in your in your application of it and then uh, go from there so that's what we're going to start doing So I kind of just did a, you know, I just kind of did like a little hand feel to see uh, how hot it is, and uh, it's pretty darn hot. This right here is a metal double-sided spudger. You can get that from etechparts.com. They are a very cool company, and they have a lot of nifty stuff. Uh, that's one of the best ways to get in here. We're going to just start in the corner. We're going to just push down as hard as we can and just sort of get under this digitizer and get a little bit. It's a little easier because I heated it up enough. Just a little bit of room. We're on the corner, so we're not touching these 3G antennas, which start right here. So we're going to take, uh, now we're going to take a pick, a guitar pick. You can also get these from E-Tech Parts or from really anywhere. Uh, they're cheaper there, though. And, uh, and we're going to get underneath the digitizer here and then really just inspect with our eyes what's going underneath. So we can get underneath that 3G antenna. That's what we need to do. Okay. So I'm going to just push this pick in. Just slide it a little bit along the edge. And I want to kind of peer in there, and I want to sort of show the camera. I want to peer in there to see where the heck we're at, to see if we are over that antenna or if we are not over that antenna. I don't know if you can see, we made it over the antenna. What allowed that to happen is the heat. That thing was on, you know, 850 degrees Fahrenheit, and, and we were blasting directly over it. But not too much, where, again, it, it warps the uh, the antenna. So I'm going to go ahead and and keep sliding this. And just kind of lift. you got to lift when you're doing it. So you can see, you know, what's going on. All right, and then we're going to stop there. Uh, I want to I see if I can put this spudger over, the, uh, over that cellular antenna so I can keep it separated and so that it doesn't stick again to the top of the digitizer. And we're going to take this pick and just continue to slide just a little bit. As you see, it's only about a quarter of the way in that pick. You don't want to jam it in there because that'll take a... Uh, that'll make it more kind of kind of conducive to messing things up. So we just want to get an outside. Again, we just want to get a little bit of a, a of an ability to peer in there and see what the heck is going on, so we can see. Maybe take our other pick and uh, and put that on on top of this on top of this uh, Wi-Fi uh, uh, correction 3G antenna. So let's just look in there. We'll look in and see. I think we managed to get above it. Really got to be sure. I'm going to put it under the light here. Yep, so we're above it. We're above it. Um, Alright, so we're going to keep this open and we are going to continue pushing this pick and lifting up the screen so that we can make the separation there. And there we go. We're good to go. All right. So if you can see inside, that's the antenna. This thing is not stuck to it. You know, we we gave it a, a considerable amount of heat, and that that's one of the biggest determining factors on on any antenna of this fashion in any iPad device to uh, prevent it from sticking to the digitizer. Okay. So now we're good. 
So we got this thing basically uh, separated on the top, which is great. And uh, and now you know maybe maybe we have to apply heat to the sides, maybe not. Uh, we're gonna keep the you know hold on the top here so that we can keep that that digitizer in a position where it's it's open and it's not gonna uh, re-adhere to 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 the antennas. Let's take this pick and just slide it along the side. See if there's any any continued traction we can get. And as you see, we're doing quite well here. I don't need to heat the side here. The adhesive is coming up relatively awesome, which is really great about these devices, and uh, is also the case with the iPad Air, the uh, newest device, if you are in 2013, that Apple has made. All right, so we're running into a, a bit of a problem here, and, um, and, and that's just because we probably do need a little bit of heat, and we can use that pick to continue uh, along, that, uh, along that process to open this device. Let's give it some heat, just a little. So let's take the pick and, and just sort of do the same thing. We're just lifting. Got a good lift there. Yep, and we're making progress. And as you see, I'm just putting it in there and just turning just a little so we can get it under there where it needs to be. And that's that's a good lift right there. Okay, so now we've got this entire side lifted. Let's keep that pick just where it is. Let's take another pick, flip this device over, start from the other side and the top here, and just sort of do the same exact thing. Let's give it a little heat this time, though. Just a little. Just a little, right? That was kind of a lot. All right. And, you know, as you see, we're basically just going to kind of do that same thing uh, down the seams of the device here just lifting or when I get to another crack here you know I'm just kinda of lifting and then I can just slide it oh, there we go slide it under again lifting a little bit slide it you know, the hand techniques really really matter here they are the differentiators between success and failure in an iPad screen replacement okay so now we have basically got a lot of this thing lifted we're gonna take this pick and just sort of run it up the side again free up any adhesive that may have gotten stuck Make sure again that we're not hitting these uh, antennas here. Nothing negative is happening. Nothing damaging is happening that's going to get our butts kicked by our customers. And then we're going to go ahead and lift. All I'm doing is lifting because we got the heat, we got the stuff off. Again, a little resistance. There we go. But we did lift on the right side there so it was just a small bit of adhesive that was giving us the issue okay and so now we're lifting but what we uh, what I think is critical at this point to note now that we've gotten this top open we've exposed the cables they're not torn that's tremendous and uh, um, and, and and we've we've put ourselves in a, in a position here where we need to open the bottom uh, without without damaging any of that and, and that's gonna that's gonna require some more heat too so we're gonna put some heat down there You don't want to go too far because you don't want to rip that home flex antenna. So at this point, we're going to have to sort of finagle our way in and do this smartly. I'm going to take the metal spudger on the on the bottom left hand corner here, and I want to get underneath of it because there's a Wi-Fi antenna directly underneath there. Okay, I just want to lift that piece up. That's the Wi-Fi antenna. It's now exposed. We're a lot safer. We can just tear that away. All right, and now let's move toward getting this glass up with that same metal spudger. I got to tell you, this metal spudger is a tremendously handy tool. It gets in here, it's the right grooves, it's the right part for the right angles, and that matters. Let's go over here and see what's going on down here with this glass in the corner. We're just going to expose the Bluetooth antenna over here, do some more exposure of some antennas over here, get this rest of this glass out of the way so we can lift this thing up and, and move forward and then uh, and then we'll be good to go here 
as you see that we've got the the this right here is the home flex cable that's still attached to the home button uh, which we do not want to mess up so we want to get kind of get underneath of there very gently and carefully uh, get under that that adhesive there so we're not uh, we're not doing any any crazy damage <clears throat> and we want to just kind of see where the heck we're at here What I'm doing is I'm lifting the home, the home flex, uh, along with the glass, paying very close attention to it to make sure that I'm not tearing that cable, because it's super easy to tear. They just have to do, do a tremendous job. You know, if, they, if Apple did not mean to make it <laughs> so it's easy to tear, uh, that happened as a very obvious byproduct of the super thin repair. Okay, so now we're off. As you see, this is the home flex cable. It's all still attached. It's all still taped correctly, and everything's good. And we've successfully pulled the screen. We're going to take the LCD out. There's a heat shield underneath of it, and um, and uh, you know in that heat shield, you know we have the screws. We'll take them out uh, and do the screen replacement from there. Uh, that we have a video of soldering the IC chip. Uh, you know, there's many other videos of putting uh, putting the screen back on. We'll do another video and put it up of putting the screen back on. But I just wanted to really show, uh, you know, uh, taking the the screen off without tearing, uh, you know, these uh, these antennas on the top because I think that's critically important. So thanks a lot for watching. Tweet it if you loved it. Talk to you next time.